All right, everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond video. It is I, Xylestar, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly get enough Poké Dollars to get the maximum amount of money. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do. It's very fast, uh, very easy to do, a little bit tedious, but it doesn't really matter because it actually gives you a ton of money. So, uh, this is uh, not really the, probably the best example of this because I don't exactly know if the different stages give you different gold amounts, I poke dollar amounts, I'm sure there probably is a difference, but I'm just going to say that uh, it probably doesn't really matter too, too much, but pretty much you want to stand between these two uh, like trainers right here. Uh, you might get lucky, and if you're at night, you might be able to get this guy as well as an extra encounter that you can also do. So, what you want to do is you want to use your VS Seeker if you have. If not, uh, a quick thing that I like to do is I like to just do this real quick. There we go. Oops, wrong button. Uh, do that. Uh, go on the bike. And just spin your stick over here really quick. Wait until... The step thing says 100, and try it yet again. I usually like to go around here kind of thing. And do it again. All right, perfect example of what can actually happen. All right, so the best way to quickly do this is to have a high-level Pokemon. Of course, uh, after you've been the Elite Four the first time, their Pokemon's levels are 60. Uh, I have a Gardevoir here, not EV trained at all. Uh, nothing. It's just nothing. Gave it, uh, taught it, I think, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt, and Calm Mind. Uh, this is, uh, if you have a better Pokemon that can easily just take these things down to, like, nothing, it's fine. Uh, this trainer right here has a level 60 Roselia, while the guy over there has a level 60 Chatot. So if you can find a Pokemon that can easily take those two down without actually having any problems, it's fine. So, you want to rematch these two people, and you want to have your main Pokemon either equipping the... There's an incense, I'm not quite sure what it's called, or amulet coin, if you're more used to that. Uh, amulet coin you get during the story. I think the incense, I think, is a little bit out of the way, but it's fine. Alright, so we're just going to take this thing down in like one shot. No contest. Just go down, Roselia. There you go. Perfect. So, after you've taken down the third Pokemon, let's go and and get the experience. Uh, let's go and see how much money we've earned. So, we get around 2,500 Poke... 25,000 Poke Dollars. So, 24.5 Poke Dollars, pretty much. 24.5k po Poke Dollars. That's awesome. That's really, really quick. And you saw how fast that was. That, that was really, really quick. And you can also talk to this guy right here. This guy is not really a part of that same system. He's a bonus, if you will. He's like a bonus trainer that you can do while you're waiting for the other two to kind of reset it for the VS Seeker. You might get some chances where you get none of them to respond. Uh, this happened to me a couple times too. Uh, don't get me wrong. It does get very frustrating when you're trying to get a lot of Poké Dollars to EV train your Pokémon. And yet, they're not going to give you that. But yeah, so this is your bonus. He's going to give you about, I think it's like 2,000 Poké Dollars, which is not as impressive as the other two trainers, where they give you about 24, uh, 24 to 25,000 kind of thing. So it's quite impressive that we can even get like that many Poké Dollars from one trainer with an amulet coin. It's insane. Let me give me two thousand, two thousand poke dollars, a little bit over, nothing too bad. So there you go. So you can get. Uh, actually, let's go. I want to go get the old man kind of on the screen too. So kind of just does the same thing. Are you kidding? <laughs> there you go. Come on, old man. Yes, the old man. All right. So you might get lucky, and you might get both of them, um, like I did. It's kind of awesome, actually. I want to see if I can get lucky.
All right, so as I said, try not level 60. Uh, if it's going to take a little bit because my uh, Gardevoir here has a trace, but it's fine. Thunderbolt takes it out in one shot. No contest, just take it out. Done. And after that, you get 24, 480. Oops. Alright, so if my math is indeed correct, I just double checked with uh, with uh, calculator just in case I might have gotten a decimal wrong. I'm joking. I, I, I knew it was going to be this, but I wanted to make sure that the old man actually had the right amount. Uh, the same amount that uh, this uh, rich person pretty much has as well. So, if you get lucky and get both... Plus, let's also add the uh, the police officer at the end of this. So 2016, I think, is what he gave us. So if you're able to get all three trainers, you get 50k a pop. You get close to 51, pretty much. You get 51,000 poke, poke dollars if you can get the police officer and these two trainers right here. Get one of them, you get 24... Uh, 24, 480. You get both. You get 48, 960. 40, 48, 960. So that's incredible. So you, and this is very quick. Of course, you can just go into this little spot right over here. You don't even have to move to get all of them. You can just do this. This is pretty much what I've been doing while I was just doing uh, while I was watching something in the background. And you can just quickly just do this. Blah blah blah. blah. Oh, you you got it. All right. It's very, very quick. Uh, the maximum amount of Poké Dollars you can get is 999,999 Poké Dollars. This is, I think, uh, a reference, to, or not really a reference, more so an, an homage to what the maximum amount of money was back in the old Pokémon games. So, if we were to take this, and we were to take it... Actually, let's go with the 24,000 because I think that's much more reasonable because I've been getting these guys more often than the actual other things. So let's go and... Uh, I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. Uh, let's see here. So for the amount of... Because these two are really the breadwinners that that's actually going to do this. So... If you want to get max money, if you only got lucky or you got unlucky and only got one of these two rich trainers, it would take you 40, we'll round this up because it's 40.8. We'll round it up to 41. Uh, actually, I can just show it on screen, actually. I'm hoping I can do it on here. I don't know where the calculator is, though. Like, I don't know what the, the number of it is, so I'm just going to slowly go to here. And show you what it is all right so we need to go and click nine uh, nine 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 because of course that is the maximum amount of polka dollars as you can see during the beginning of this video i had this amount of money this is how much i have so we, it hasn't changed which means oh it resets after you enter the menu interesting it's a bad system anyway so we need to divide this by how many uh, how much money we get of course so we need to divide this divide 900 uh, 999,999 by of course the total amount of money with the amulet coin so we were trying to save time here we're not trying to waste time and we get boom that is what I got here I have an extra digit I believe 849 six three two four yeah oh no wait i have a different 
Oh, the other one must be like an uh, like a five or something like that, sort of rounded up. But yeah, so that's how many attempts it would take to go from zero poker dollars. So you started off with no money and you wanted to get to the maximum amount of cash. That is how much it takes. Uh, let's go and find out how much it would take for you to get the maximum amount of poker dollars. So I'm going to do it the, the slow way here. Uh, we're going to times this by 2. We're going to plus it by 216, just so I remember the number, because I don't remember it. Uh, this is just me with horrible memory right now. This isn't actually me, like, not knowing exactly how much this is actually being. It's just so that you actually get to see it firsthand how much money you would get for it. Uh, that is it. All right. So we need to clear this up. We need to go and go back to this. We need to go and divide this by this total amount. So if you get lucky, get all of the trainers that are in this area, or get both trainers plus the police officer, you will randomly get a chance between 41. You only need to do this 41 times or at the very lowest, it would take you... 20 attempts 20 rotations and that's at the high side that's if you actually get the police officer now if you do this during the day the police officer i believe is not a trainer at that moment so i don't think you can trigger him you might be able to I'm not quite sure but i've only ever done this at night so yeah <laughs> But again, yeah, so let's even check. Let's even check to see how much the police officer would give to get to max, and then that'll be the end of it. So if you got extremely unlucky and only got the police officer as the only one that can be rebattled, it'll take you five, like practically 500 attempts to do it. So 496. So that's, so this, so again, this is going from zero to max amount, amount of money. So actually, I'm not gonna do the math in my head. I'm just gonna actually show it off. Okay, so let's go see how much that actually gives then. How much, how much, how much money is that? Like how much, what was it, 496? Uh, how much how much amount of money does that actually give you <laughs> that's 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 a lot of money to lose uh there you go so you're close to max so you definitely need that extra one so definitely 497 to get maxed so yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed uh this is the fastest way of getting money as far as i know of it only took me about 20 minutes uh which can definitely be done faster if you have a faster pokemon that can always hit before the opponent. I think I had my Gardevoir very lower level. Uh, so I was able to get hit by the chat out, I think. Uh, not only that, uh, if you have a very fast Pokemon, that can just uh, one-shot sweep everything. Um, not only that, you actually had like uh, health restoring items. Or not the health restoring, uh, PowerPoint restoring items. And not only that... Uh, you actually have like I don't know <laughs> or if you really just have uh, money left over kind of thing uh, there you go as well so yeah so that is going to be it uh, for this video uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this is the fastest money method uh, that I know of for this game uh, the second fastest uh, is if you uh, or if you want to pretty much uh, always be able to guarantee to uh, be Pokemon, you can fight these two. I find that these two are very slow. I thought these two were just as equal to those two people. But uh, yeah, this is probably the fastest method. So yeah, so I'll see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond.